Hello everyone, welcome to the answer sp.sc sub tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to log in with the email OTP with the SQL server in sp.net csr and already we have seen the login otp email with the sql server so what is the difference between both in this video we'll learn how to uh, log in with the otp and otp valid for 10 minutes only okay. so after 10 minutes auto otp automatically expired okay. so for that let's go through that so I'm closing all the tabs So I'll create the login OTP page. So login OTP page. I'm giving a new name. Right click on the project name. Go to the add add new item. Login OTP 10 okay. I'm giving the name and one more. Add add new item. login tp and confirm. confirm login otp 10 minutes so login otp 10 minutes let me design the page let me open the page first this is a blank page so we have already login otp page so I'm, call, I'm calling the same code here This is a basic coding login OTP. I'm giving the name uh, on the, your uh, production project. You don't need to give the name login OTP. Let me write the CS page. So I need the same assembly for the login with OTP. Connection string and function. Okay. So what I am doing here, I am getting the assembly. I am calling the connection, so con string, SQL connection, with the on login OTP button. This button is available here. On click, whenever it will click, it will go to the page and. I am just calling the email address so go to the page first so login login with OTP 10 minutes email address whenever I will just insert the email and I will submit it will come to the backend page dot cs page and I am just checking the email address email address is exist with and is active is equal to one or not if that is not exist then I am just sending your email address not associated with us and if the email address is exist then I will starting the code that so here i'm just creating the random otp and the random code and random code i'm assigning the login otp account uh, update account i'm just uh, setting that user info login otp is equal to otp and where email is equal to email and one more thing i have to insert that so let me write down the code because login otp valid for the 10 minutes okay. so if that is valid for the 10 minutes then what I have to do, I have to insert the data to that to 10 minutes data. Means 10 minutes time over there. So I'll create then I'm creating comma login OTP created equal to Quotes, double quotes, plus plus. Here I write the current date time. So for the current date time, I have to write the date, date time dot now current time I'm reading. So I'm taking now to a string and format I'll write that. So this will be by y yes mmsd space hs comma mm so year month date hours minute and second i'm writing that so 
login OTP created. I have to create one more column there in database. So right click on the table, go to the design, and, and insert the column right there. I'm writing the env. And let me query this. Select thousand row. OTP created is null. Login OTP is something is there. That's not issue. So OTP created is null. So now I'm going to send the email to user. Okay. Login OTP. Confirm login 10 minutes. I'll call this page. I'm giving the name for the recognition only. For your requirement, you can give the name. Refresh the page. I'm selecting my email address and submitting. This email email address should be in our database. So yeah, OTP sent successfully. Let me come. Yeah, login OTP valid for 10 minutes. Hello user, this is my new OTP. Let me check. This is old OTP. Um, reload. Yeah, this is new OTP, and this is 911. Okay. So this is valid for 10 minutes. If I will change the date, just assume that because 10 minutes we don't have time to wait and we have a, we can wait then just also okay so i'm going to the second of june okay winter so now let me open the page page is blank now let me create the code confirm login otp and use the similar page Giving the name for the recognition again. I'm saying that so I need the all the assemblies now. I'm calling the code so everything is same, so no need to change because. Just go through the previous video for the more details just like a login with OTP so here I'm calling and here I'm getting the change now what is missing there we should check for the 10 minutes means that should be valid for the 10 minutes so that code we have to write here So let me check with the code. Uh, third variable, let me write that login OTP created time. So login OTP created. <coughs> this time I need login OTP created and let me assign that where we start is equal to time now okay. I am reading the now time where old time is equal to Zero one two. Okay, sorry. Second one. Okay. Then if star 
dot subtract time greater equal to spend minutes minutes of 10 something is missing okay i have to pass that So I'm getting the um, means I'm assigning the start time now and all time I'm just reading from the database and I'm just subtracting the start time to all time each time is spent is more than 10 minutes then I'll just write the code then OTP is expired. OTP is expired. Okay, then else I create the session and get to the home page. Okay. Now let me check. Already we changed the uh, OTP in back date, so OTP should be expired. expired okay now let me send the otp again okay otp sent successfully let me open so this is my new otp and zero minutes zero Just clicking with the new OTP. Okay, let me check why this showing OTP is expired. Three nine eighteen is correct. Let me check the condition. Then equal to ten. First, we wait two Okay, I have written the wrong code. If sorry, if subtract is greater than ten minutes, then OTP is expired. time I'm getting let me check
so otp is working now so this is below 10 minutes below 10 minutes so otp is working see so my session is open now in this video we learn how to email a otp for the login so with the otp login we can do that the login that otp valid for the 10 minutes so thank you for watching